Well, the moment of truth has come. We are ready to go to the lake. Unfortunately, it is a nasty cloudy day. It's nice and warm though at least. It's probably 82 degrees. We have peaks of sun here and there. Um, spent the morning, filled the power steering reservoir, uh, got it all bled out and uh, retest ran it again just to make sure everything's okay. I still got a problem with my choke not engaging all the way. I have to kind of flick it into place. It doesn't doesn't quite engage where it needs to be so it starts as easily so probably grease it or replace that little piece but uh, put my rear seat in here just temporarily to provide some protection from the engine whenever we're driving somebody falls into it but uh, everything is ready to go got it hitched up we'll see how it goes First time in 2010 going out on the lake. And so far so good. I see that they have worn their life jackets like they said they were going to. Too bad. Gosh, it is windy out here. I know he's going to tell me it's bad photographer. Ah, oh, you can hear it. They're outside of the wake zone. There they go. On the lake, just had our first successful run. You can see the, the truck over there waiting for us. We uh, hadn't had any problems so far. It's been running fine, and I tell you, it jumps out of the on the plane like you wouldn't believe. So we got to idle out of our uh, no wake zone here. All right, here we go on the jump. same time. Right. Do another jump.
little choppy today. Back after our first successful lake test uh, and I'm very very happy at how things came out uh, this thing jumps out of the hole like you would not believe I am absolutely stunned it actually scared me uh, whenever I hit it for the first time uh, it you see from the previous video it it definitely gets out on plane in a hurry um, I got 53 GPS which is about 10 more than we had last year just shows you how tired that old 305 was <laughs> We had about 44, 45 on the GPS, and today uh, I didn't even get into it all the way. I was a little scared when it got up there because it started a chine walk, um, and uh, I was I was reaching about 43 to 4400 RPMs, so I had a little bit more in it uh, as far as to go go, but and I could have trimmed it out a little bit more. But uh, I think that this prop may not be exactly what it needs now. It sounds like it slips a lot whenever you get into it, but that's later on down the road. It's running perfect now. I'm going to get everything put back together. I'm going to put the sun deck back on, get my gas shocks installed in this thing, uh, get my window tinner up over here to put some window tin on the, on the windows, and uh, you know, get it ready for the lake. Oh, put my stereo system back in it for sure. Uh, and then maybe next weekend I'll take the family out on it. That way they can enjoy the kind of fun that I have today. Oh, I've got my new uh, lettering on too. It's actually kind of reflective. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's actually reflective tape and or reflective lettering instead of normal. I don't know. I can't decide if I like it or not. I may go back to just the plain black. But uh, other than that, I'm very, very happy with how this came out. And uh, thanks to everybody on iBoats for all the, I guess, the... Uh, encouragement and advice and everything to get it to where it is now still got a long way to go as far as all the finishing touches so i'm not quite finished yet but for the most part we're good oh and the transom does not leak it was the whole reason this started in the first place was it does not leak um it absolutely stayed dry as a bone down there uh just looked absolutely beautiful actually there's a little bit of trash in there i guess it blew in but we kept checking every five minutes to make sure it was not leaking. And man, I tell you, it's wonderful to have a boat that doesn't sink. 